concept Leslie fam. So first off, I want to say happy Mother's Day to all of you ladies out there who are mothers. And if you're not, that's okay too. You have your own mamacita. And just cherish her because we never know. One minute they're here, one minute they're not. And it's amazing how life just changes you so much when you do have a baby. So, uh, beside my bag, anyways, um, we finally have our living room back. Or I should say my, our dining room area. And I was thinking to myself, like, how crazy is it that not too long ago, I mean, I was single, or I was, you know, Vivi and I were together, and we were single, and like, just enjoying our life um, as single women, and, and going out, and traveling, and doing so much, you know, like, for example, um, I ran into this awesome book, and how amazing, you know, I was like going through it and realizing like, oh my God, there's so much that we did. Let me see if I can find a good picture. Like, let me see. That was us. Enjoying some drinks. Let me see. You get a good one. And, you know, some of the adventures that we went through. And, oh my God, I mean, look how young we looked. And, it's just so amazing. I like, here, of course, there's always food because I love food. So check that one out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Here we are. Look at all these beautiful adventures. You know, like, I, I miss these things. <laughs> and Vivi. That's in the water. Here we are together. When I was actually skinny. Oh my goodness. But anyways, it went from, you know going from that to motherhood like how amazing is that and you know I think back and I'm like why did I want to be a mom for me I wanted to experience um, what giving life is um, my mom is such an amazing woman. She's been through so much in her life that, um, I don't know, watching her with five kids, I mean, fuck, five kids. And sometimes I think to myself, like, how did she do it? I'm here struggling with one and I can barely do it. And, you know, sometimes I'm like, you know, did we do the right thing about having a kid? You know, like, was I meant to be a mom? Like, am I doing it right? There's just so much to being a mom sometimes that I'm like, how did my mom do it? Or like my suegra, how did she do it? Four kids. And you have to have so much patience because you want to raise essentially like a good kid like who doesn't want a good kid and you know like you want your you want people to be proud of your kids and speak well of them you know oh me saludaron or you know like oh que bien educados están you know like we all want to feel that and and you know and be praised for our hard work because it's not easy from the moment that you decide to have a baby, like for us, we had a plan it, you know, going through all the medicine and injections and appointments to giving birth, which wasn't easy um, to, you know, recovering from a C-section and now having Liam and he's barely sleeping through the night. And this is 18 months later. 
and he's barely sleeping through the night. So we've definitely had our fair share of of challenges, um, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, there's just nothing that I could possibly offered that I would take to say I want my old life back because one, not only do I have one of the most amazing wives, but I have an amazing mom for Liam. She has been definitely um, my backbone and she's had her fair share of, of challenges with him. You know, um, we do have different relationships with him um, in the sense of Liam is a little more um, aggressive, I want to say, with her. Um, so I give in a lot to him. Um, and as you guys know, that's what Vivi and I were um, clashing. I guess we were having issues because I'd give him everything and I was babying him too much and I realized that that was causing an issue. So I've had to change that and be a lot more strict with him, which doesn't take from me being, you know, cariñoso or like loving or still like, you know, very maternal with him. Um, but Vivi definitely it's challenged her because I know she never wanted kids. Um, and I'll get to that on another day. That's a whole different topic, but she didn't. And she gave me the best gift in life, which was Liam. Um, but for someone who didn't want kids and to have a kid um, has been difficult and I've seen her challenges with her with him her patience is not um, it's definitely not the same as mine I have a lot of patience for Liam um, she is quick to lose her temper but never with him she just gets frustrated and she has to step away. And that's one thing that um, I feel has changed a lot with her before. She would get frustrated and flustered easily and just, you know, not know what to do. And now she takes her time and steps away. And when she's ready, she comes back and she picks up right where she is. She teaches him so much. She talks to him all the time. Um, she's always looking for the best things for him. She's always shopping for him like you guys seen that you know they always have matching shoes that to me is so beautiful because that's their way of bonding you know um, we each have our own way and and Liam loves her I there's just I couldn't have picked a better mom who strives um, for a better life for us for Liam because she wants to give him everything that we did not and I know our parents did the best uh oh speaking of our son he's crying I'll be right back Go so as I was saying um, being a mom is definitely very challenging um, and just going back and you know reminiscing on since the moment we got home like how hard breastfeeding was to the sleepless nights and god i mean like you know when it's constipated just they go we go through so much as moms and it just makes me appreciate my mom so much more and my mother-in-law for as much as they do for us, you know, you think back, you know, like, they'd be like, oh, te vas a acordar cuando, you know, ya que tengas tus hijos, o vas a saber lo que es cuando tengas tus hijos. And, you know, being young, we're like, whatever, mom, estás loca, whatever. We just brush them off. We never listen to them, you know? Like, and now it's like, holy shit, it's so true. Like, you were so right, mom. Everything that you said is true. Like you don't know what it's like to be a mom until you are a mom. Like you can be the best aunt, you can be the best whatever, but you don't know until you are a mom. 
like it hurts you to your core when your kids are sick not that your grandchildren or excuse me you're like you know or yeah I guess not that your grandchildren or that your you know siblings or, or nieces and nephews don't hurt you when they're sick of course but when you're a mom and it's your kid it's a completely different feeling like it, it just rips your heart apart like you just want to be in their place you want to take that pain from them you want them to be better you know but then there's the opposite side like coming home and seeing him smile like I can have a shitty day and just seeing Liam like say hi hey, mom like it's his new thing like we're like hi buddy and he goes hi mom like that right there you know it makes my day and that is something that's very special between you know Vivi and Liam like she just says hey buddy and he's like hi mom and and I don't know it just it warms my heart because that's their bond again you know now we're doing swimming classes and you know he's doing gym, uh, not gymnastics but his little jamboree class and there's just so much that we're doing for him because we want to give him the best life you know but again for those who think that motherhood is easy it sure is not and it was a rude awakening for me because me being you know essentially helping my parents raise my other four siblings I thought that I knew a lot but turns out I didn't know shit because again when it came to my Liam it was a completely different ballpark I was like oh my god there's just so much that they don't tell you that comes with motherhood. Um, but it's a beautiful thing and I wouldn't change it for the world. For those of you who still have your mom, cherish them, listen to them because we will not have them forever. And unfortunately, we all have to go through that pain of losing our parents. And the thing is, we never know. Today they can be here, tomorrow they may not. And like my mom says, bring me flowers now, not to my grave. And that's what I plan on doing. I want to spend more time with my mom and let her know how much I appreciate her. And um, what a great mom she is. I don't let her know enough how much I appreciate her and um, I don't want to regret that one day I'm sorry god you guys want how much you don't I'm so sensitive but it's true I don't want I don't want to regret it one day and um, and be like I wish I would have you know given her flowers or I wish I would have had more time with her you know and there's nothing that that woman wouldn't do for me or the same thing with my sweater there is nothing he won't that she won't do for us for Liam like the love that she has it's amazing it's so um, humbling like wow you know listening to like Vivi's stories like when she was young how she used to be to what she is now are two different stories but you know it made it made Vivi and it made her siblings the people that they are now you know and again at the moment when we're teenagers or younger we just don't appreciate our parents we don't you know we um like we say los juzgamos locos you know we take them for granted and we don't we think that they're crazy and just saying things because you know it just sounds cute no like they know what the fuck they're talking about so for those of you who still have your mom hug them kiss them give them all the love because one day they're not going to be here and for those of you who don't i hope that you did take the time and let her know how much you love her and regardless they are still with us um 
So I just want to say again, happy Mother's Day to all of you ladies out there. Um, and for those of you who are trying to conceive, I wish you the best of luck because you are definitely in, are in for a journey. Not easy, but definitely a beautiful journey. And I'm learning to just enjoy the good and the bad because it's not always great, but it's not always bad either. So ladies, I want to say thank you for always support, uh, supporting us. Um, Lesby fam, we love you. And from the bottom of our hearts, happy Mother's Day. I hope you all enjoy and have a great time. Love you guys.